Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video on the Professor's channel. In this video, we'll be going over the one thing that will really boost up your FPS if you're on a low-end CSGO build. Um, but before we dive into the video, I would like to point out that I finally hit the 1000 subscribers limit. So thank you all for subscribing. It really will motivate me into making more videos. And this is the start of that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I tried to put out some videos that help CSGO players, but in the future, I'll, I will also be doing more unboxings. I've got some videos coming up from SteelSeries products. I have a keyboard, a mouse, and a uh, mouse pad that I'm going to review. So if you want to stay in touch and see what I'm up to, make sure you subscribe. All right, now let's dive into the video. So I have two pretty successful videos on YouTube which explain people on how to boost their FPS. I've had a lot of responses saying that people got around 10 to 50 FPS boosts from that video. Uh, I tried to isolate what was really the major point of those fixes, which setting was really the one that popped your FPS up 20 to 50 frames. Uh, I isolated them and I found out that there's one setting that is really important and that's the CSGO sound settings. Since the new Danger Zone update, there has been an uh, automatic 3D audio processing uh, switch that's in the CSGO settings, that really eats up a lot of CPU power. And to understand why that gives you more FPS if you toggle that off, I'll explain really briefly. CSGO is the CPU heavy game. That means it needs as much CPU power as it can get from your CPU. 3D audio sound processing also needs some energy from your CPU. You can already see that if you need a lot of CPU power and you're on the low end CPU or a CPU that's a a bit older, then um, the, that 3D audio processing is going to eat some of your frames, which you would rather use for your gameplay. Therefore, turning that off really boosts up your frames. I will show you how you turn that off. All right, here we have the CSGO home screen. From here, hit settings, go to the audio tab, and here you'll see advanced 3D audio processing, and make sure you set that to no. The default will be yes, but as we now know, that causes FPS drops. Furthermore, there are a lot of other settings that you can tweak here in order to boost your FPS. I've got videos on them. Make sure that you check them out. A lot of users report that they've got significant FPS boosts from using those guides. So make sure you get the most out of your build and go watch the videos. All right, back to the video now. I've been playing CS since 1.5 or even actually 1.3. And you really don't need the 3D audio processing. If you play the game, you'll experience that you will find out where players are coming from without the 3D audio processing. So I would just advise you to toggle it off. No matter if you have a really high end build or a low end build, I would definitely just advise you to turn that off. The same with 7.1 audio processing. You have CSGO pro players who play tournaments with earphones, for example, with not even 7.1 uh, stereo surround headsets. Uh, very few pro players actually do so. And you know, you are a pro, so you should do what the pros do, right? So just turn that 3D audio processing off and enjoy the boosted frame rate. Guys, that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you just turn that switch off and enjoy the extra FPS you will get from that. I would thank you and I hope you liked the video. Make sure you rate it with a thumbs up and subscribe to this video. I'll be putting out some more content just to see how this YouTube grind is going. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.